ndiye itanda i indigenous knowledge cause iyanikhumbuza ba inikhumbuza imvelephi yam ngasibuye lembo for students like Liteta, learning about indigenous knowledge in his science classes meant that he could relate to the subject better. When Liteta was in grade 6, he was first introduced to indigenous knowledge in the classroom at Danke Primary. For the past few years, the school has been trying to incorporate indigenous knowledges to improve science education and invite other ways of knowing. I think it is important for us as teachers to have that bridge the knowledge at home and the knowledge at school, they must be working together, you must work together, yeah. You cannot stand there. What is it? What Here is we what? see Sipo Nunzu teaching a lesson on the solar system. He's using indigenous knowledge to explain some of the alternate ways in which people can protect their skin from ultraviolet rays. Yeah. <laughs> Leading up to the lesson, students were encouraged to talk to their parents and elders in the Grahamstown community. At Luteta's home just down the road from Danke Primary, he was able to learn from his mother how she and many other Kosa people in the community have protected their skin from ultraviolet rays over the generations. <laughs> Mkoteni Herb Supply, Grahamstown's only herbalist shop, is a place where people can get consultations and treatment options using indigenous knowledge. For Ilang, it is so generally soft, At the moment, the education system in South Africa doesn't show teachers how to use indigenous knowledges in classroom learning. Could indigenous knowledges inspire better learning, improve student contribution, and make learning science more relatable? Well, that's the big question PhD student Maren Seehaver and five local teachers set to find out in a research project. Indigenous knowledges could be two things. They could be a tool of making science education more interesting, more relevant to the learners, because um, because uh, indig uh, including indigenous knowledges would be including the learners' home knowledges, things they know from home, things they learn from their grandmothers and parents. But I do think that indigenous knowledges could also be so much more. I think they they really are a resource that we that we haven't thought about enough. You could learn alternatives to Western ways or you know the scientific ways of doing things. You could um, find local solutions to your problems. You could learn about local resources that are there and you maybe weren't aware of it. The integration of indigenous knowledges in the classroom also promotes its survival and encourages students to celebrate their culture and its values. We must be Afro optimist all the time. Yeah, because some of the practices we are doing as black people, other people, they don't uh, take them seriously. So we need to go back to our roots and take them to the way forward. Using indigenous knowledges in science classrooms could be a great way to inspire the future careers of young people such as Liteta. I like natural science because it talks about nature and I, I, I want to be a doctor. I can use indigenous knowledge to help people.